you love the beach, someone who goes to the beach, you'll want to know about this story. Whether you're from Delaware or anywhere, whatever state, Hi, this is Jeffrey Smith. Behind me are photos of a beautiful beach town outside Washington, D.C. that is facing an issue early that most beach towns will shortly face. 5G telephone poles that will be installed on the beachfront areas. 5G micro cell towers, 35 foot tall, look like a picket fence at the beach. 5G is being deployed and it's right at the beachfront. It's nationwide and crucial fight about its beachfront going on right now. This can happen to any beach town, given that the 5G is nationwide. And this problem will be faced by most beach towns been popping up around beaches over the past few weeks. Most of these poles have gone up along Dewey Beach's coastline just steps from the dunes. Many who live in the area and longtime renters are calling them an unnecessary eyesore. Bell Dot issued a statement saying the permits were given solely based on state regulations and policy regarding public utilities in Delaware. This is a town now facing an onslaught of 5G poles based on legislation passed by the state. And it's right at the beachfront and it's a lot of telephone poles. Let's listen in here as the public and the council discuss this issue. Nobody in this town administration, whether it be the volunteer commissioners or the employees, want any of these poles. They understand we're going to get them, but we don't want them and we're fighting hard to try to make sure we get the best we can, but we are very limited. Basically, we've been told you may not like it, but you're going to get it, and that's the end of the discussion. My comments, just to be brief, was that the map shared at the last meeting was great, and it did set off a lot of interest, but the polls were already up in a lot of the town. It was already a done deal, so there wasn't much to say. I recognize we may not have control. That doesn't mean we shouldn't fight. When I walk by Clayton Street, which I do every day, and I see that poll at 12 o'clock, I just think of this town and how we really need to care for the aesthetics of it, not just fall over and, and accept it. Clayton Street at a 12 o'clock poll right in front of the ocean, is it's mind-boggling to me, really. people's minds, are we or are we not going to have multiple poles at the end of the street in front of our beach entrances and it looked like a picket fence. That's the biggest worry I have. Joe, can I ask you a question? Um, yes, sir. Verizon puts up a 35-foot pole. There, yep. but can you co-locate on the existing pole? No. Every single time we have asked Verizon if they could co-locate, including on an older pole that only had cable TV on it, they said no, it was impossible, they couldn't do it. Although the law says they should co-locate if possible, they, they say it's impossible every single time. There is a great deal of objection from industry to co-location. Industry is saying it's not feasible. I am attempting to faithfully recount the industry's position. However, industry doesn't regulate it itself. We regulate industry. We are limited in this uh, realm. We know that. We also have, have a say. 
Well, Tilson and I have been in discussions regarding what they're proposing to install, and they want to put in Wi-Fi to start off with. Tilson is qualified as a wireless communication company under the statute. Where they get their funds from is from leasing the poles. So they basically set up the pole, and they and they go out and they provide them. They do not have a provider that is willing to locate on their poles. And in our travels around with companies talking about locations or them informing us basically what locations they were going to place poles. Every time we talked about an existing pole and or co-location on poles, they had every reason in the book to say it doesn't work. We pretty much were at a loss to be confirm or deny that. At one point, I think both of us felt, well, what's the purpose of having this discussion with them? If I'm hearing correctly, what it looks like we're going to have is three poles at the end of each street then, right? I cannot see where the state could say no to that. We don't, don't think any individual provider needs them at every beach entrance, for instance. There's three carriers. If they don't want to co-locate, I don't know how a carrier can provide service to an area they don't have a transmitter. For example, Verizon is, isn't asking for all 22 beach ends of the street at this point. To answer your question, Mr. Barrett, there is a possibility yes. that more than one carrier could request a pole at beach end of the street. That's correct. We might have two, three, four, five providers. It's hard to tell at this point. The conclusion Mr. Persinger reached is still correct, that we don't know how many providers are going to be attempting to install facilities in our town. And legally, we have no recourse to push back on that. We have recourse, but minimal. DelDot is in charge of approving these. Would they be interested in having a public meeting with our residents? I can certainly request it. I see no reason why not. Right. And I will be happy to extend an invitation. Jim, if you will broach that subject with them. Courts have recognized that municipalities such as Dewey Beach can, within reason, regulate the aesthetics, but we cannot forbid the location of these facilities in the town. There are just as many questions remaining. This is very new territory for every, every town, giving rise to a lot of consternation. Mr. Didis and myself discussed this with, with uh, Mr. Schwarzkopf, the Speaker of the House, and he said, oh no, they're supposed to co-locate. I said, yeah, but that's if they can. He said, that's correct. I said, but they keep telling us that they cannot under the situation that they have here in Dewey Beach. It's just um, unbelievable the reasons they cannot put it on existing poles or co-locate. Most lawsuits against the companies have been lost in court. The companies have won. The companies know that they have us over a barrel. In a flood zone, you have to get a building permit from the town. Our design standards really don't address whether you can put a pole up or not. We may end up in court on this. Are we going to be issuing permits or not? That could very well lead us into court. Tell the commissioner, I want to ask you to be careful about how you phrase your questions. Everything that's been happening, Jim and I are very, very frustrated over this. Tilson is an infrastructure company that's applying and getting approved to put in polls. We haven't heard from AT&T yet, and we haven't heard from T-Mobile yet. It's going to be a problem, and I'm worried, very worried about it. I think they've got us blocked at every angle right now. So there you've seen it. You see some of the players, if you care about beaches, you want to contact and make the point clear. Crucial fight for the very character of the beach. Mm -hmm.